this video I am going to transform Anna's nails. Once again, we will turn short beaten nails into beautiful almond nails. And also we are going to do inlay foil design with acrylic. Coming up. Hello, I'm Anastasia. If you are first time here on my channel, then you need to meet Anna, my client. We have quite a history. She's biting her nails from early childhood, and it's been quite a journey with ups and downs. When you have a bad habit like that, which is a lifelong bad habit, it's not a matter of just one service to fix it. It's impossible. It actually takes a few years. And I think we've been doing quite good. And this time we are going to do a new extensions for her. Anna works as a chef in a chain restaurant. She is going to have her first vacation within three years. That's why I'm thinking of something special. We already did some nude nails with simple designs, but this time I would like to try inlay design. I noticed that milky colors and golden foil has been trending for quite a while, so I'm going to try something using that. And also, unfortunately, something sad happened to these nails about within two days after we did the set, but I'm going to share it at the end of the video, because this is truly a little bit heartbreaking. Let's get to it. This is what Anna's nails look like today. They are short, but at least we do not have many cuts on the skin, which is awesome. You guys are asking many questions in the comments, so in this video I am going to review some of them. We start by pushing back the cuticles with a pusher, and now it's quite easy compared to what it was about a year ago. And we have a question. How do you know when to use a wooden stick or a metal cuticle pusher? I saw you change it up. Honestly, most times you can use both, so sometimes I cannot even explain it. I just use cuticle pusher because it's just sitting right next to my hand. But also cuticle pusher, like metallic pusher, is bigger. So it is more comfortable to use it when you're working with large hands, when there is many crust and skin you would like to push back. But on the other hand, once I see someone with super thin and sensitive skin, with damaged skin, with pre-existing cuts, in this case I will definitely pick an orange wood stick. Because it's softer and smaller, so it is a bit easier to control it. And I always recommend to use orange wood stick for beginners. Meanwhile, I proceed to cleaning. This is the Diamond Flame Bit Red Abrasive Mark. The speed is about 15,000 rotations per minute, and most of you find this part very satisfying. And I have to agree, I like doing this too. When working along the left sidewall, it is important to use a forward mode. And we have a question from Linda. I bought an electric file, but am confused about the rotation. Does forward mean clockwise? Exactly. Forward is clockwise and reverse is counterclockwise. In some nail drills, you can even see the arrow showing the direction like on this one. The one on the top is forward and you can see the arrow on how it is rotating. This picture is a slide from my presentation on eFile 101 course. This is an online class for beginners where you will learn how to work with electric nail file and most importantly how to do it safe. If you would like to learn more about the class and enroll, check out the link in the description box. This class includes live teacher graded assignments, certificate of completion once you submit all the assignments, and a lifetime access to international students chat. I am almost done cleaning the left side, so then I switch to the opposite side and to reverse mode. By the way, I never do one by one nail, well, sometimes when I'm recording the video, but in the real life, I do all 10 nails, cleaning one side, and then I switch to another one. We have a question from Anna. What do you mean by the nail polish will clog the bit? All nail drill bits are designed to work on the product, on a polymer, or on the skin. It doesn't even matter if this is a diamond or a carbide bit. Sometimes there is some nail polish on top of the enhancement, 
I personally do not use it, but sometimes clients use it to refresh their set. Anna uses clear nail polish a lot to refresh her extensions before she's coming to me. That's why it is important to use a nail polish remover first and try to not touch it with any kind of nail drill. Unfortunately, I do not have a photo of a carbide bit that is clogged with a nail polish, but I have another one. Every time you work with a nail drill bit on top of the product, usually it is polymer and it's supposed to be fully cured, so it is hard. Technically, we are just shaving off some layers from the top. There might be some dust in it, but it doesn't get clogged. With nail polish, it's different. It's a different kind of substance. Just imagine a paint that is not fully cured or even better, a chewing gum. So small pieces of it get stuck between the flutes or between the abrasive in diamond bead, so it's not working. It is still possible to clean it. I mean, of course, we can put it in a sanitizer and clean it is going to work again. But as you work, it just doesn't feel comfortable and you need to change the bit right away. Actually, I have a video from about two years ago on how to clean the clogged bits. It will appear somewhere in the right corner, I believe, so you can check it out to see how to clean them. Then I'm going to take off the surface shine. I prefer to do it with a hand file 180 grit. And then we will proceed to another satisfying part, which is trimming cuticles and aponychium. There is an interesting question from TG. Is there a point at which nails are beaten too short to put some form of extensions on? Well, the shorter nails are, the more challenging it is going to be to do extensions. But as long as there is some kind of nail, we are able to do that because sometimes with different kind of traumas where there is no nail plate at all, if there's only skin, then unfortunately it's not going to work because polymer is not going to adhere to the skin. But as long as there is some kind of nail, it is possible. I'm done with dry manicure and at this point Anna usually tells me, oh my god, I already like them because they already look different once they are clean. And by the way, dry manicure is not only a matter of making nails and skin look prettier, but it is also a part of the nail prep. Then I'm going to apply dehydrator, and since I'm going to use an acrylic system, it works the best for Anna, I'm also using an acid primer. But you need to be careful as you apply it, do not touch the skin, and make sure that it is fully dry. This time we are going to try an inlay design. I'm going to use a milky white acrylic to do an oval shaped extensions. Then I'm going to use a golden flakes, or this is a foil shredded to pieces, I'm not really sure, but it definitely looks like foil. So with a small bead of clear acrylic, I'm going to apply it on the nail. I also applied some clear acrylic on the nail bed. It is very important, do not apply glitter, foil, or any kind of accessories directly to the nail plate, as they're not going to adhere. Then I apply some milky acrylic on the top, which was absolutely a useless part to do, but this was the first nail with this design, so, you know, I had to try. And then I seal it with a milky acrylic, not with a clear one, because the goal is to have some kind of the inlay yogurt design. But I still want to have some gold on the top as well. That's why I add a few flakies and seal them with a clear. Then I'm going to pinch the nail. It is important to pinch it while it's still soft and it is not supposed to be painful. Like this is absolutely painless and you're not supposed to apply too much pressure when pinching. Actually, it is supposed to be a very slight pinch. 
Let's read another question from Monica. Has Anna tried any strategy not to bite your skin? Regarding the manicure and all the efforts you both have done, congratulations. Thank you so much, Monica, for these kind words. And I also would love to say thank you to you all for all these words of encouragement for Anna. I always read them to her. Sometimes she's just visiting my channel and reads them by herself. I was a bit surprised on how you guys are dedicated to Anna's journey and every time I go on Instagram or sometimes on live, I can tell that most of you guys already know Anna and her story. We appreciate it and will definitely keep you updated. Let's get back to the question. Anna is trying to follow most of my recommendations, such as using cuticle oil, and another one is using an orange wood stick to push back her cuticles after about one week. And she shared that once she has any kind of enhancement, whether this is extensions like we usually do, or we also did a couple times a gel polish overlay, whenever there is something on her nails, she doesn't bite the skin at all. But once there is a little lifting or the nails start to fall off or some nails break or there are no enhancement at all, she's starting to have these hangnails and now she just can't help it. She says that she doesn't even notice as this happens. I'm not sure how to fully break this kind of habit, especially when it comes from early childhood. I guess this should be worked on with a psychologist or something. But what I know is that once her nails are sealed with the product, she's not biting nails or skin. That's why I always encourage her to not overdo her fills and to always do them on time. However, sometimes it's not possible, unfortunately, because Anna has a pretty crazy schedule as well as I do. So sometimes it's just not possible to synchronize them. We're done, and I already like these nails when they're matte, by the way, but they're going to be even better once we seal them with a top coat because we are going to see all these layers from the inside. Diamond Sphere bead speed is 14,000 rotations per minute to clean all the remaining dry skin and hangnails all the way around the nail and along the sidewalls. When working with large sphere bead like this, it is important to not touch the skin at one spot for a long time. You need to move really quickly. I noticed that many people are surprised by this speed in the comments, but this is the point. When it's fast, you're not supposed to press in the skin too much and it is going to work great. Let's do the final part of the service and probably the most satisfying, which will be sealing with the top coat. Some of the flakies and the golden foil are inside, but since the milky acrylic that we used are semi-transparent, we are going to see them through. Cure in LED for 30 seconds and we are done. This was the golden foil milky set for Anna. Let me know what do you think. I personally love it and this is probably one of my favorite sets I've ever did for Anna. Unfortunately, something happened. So Anna was about to have her three week vacation. Once again, she didn't have vacation for three years before that. And finally, she was going to one. She hasn't decided yet where she's going. So she was going to stay in Moscow for about first week. And her new boss, who was very nice and never cared about such thing as nails, uh, they were like a good friends. So he calls her on her like second day of vacation, I believe. And he's like, oh my God, Anna, we have an inspection coming in two days. They need to check everything please, can you come and help me? And she said, sure. She didn't thought about nails or anything like that back then. And then she shows up for this inspection. Every single employee cannot have any kind of enhancements and she needs to take them off like ASAP. She calls me, but I wasn't there at the moment. I wasn't in Moscow. So she had to go to the salon and I was like, 
please go to a good salon and ask them to be like super careful. By the way, when you have a fresh set, fresh acrylic set that was done just two days ago, it's not very easy to take it off, especially this fresh manicure. Honestly, I was super worried that they were going to ruin her nails, but it turned out pretty well, but she had to take them off on the second day. It was truly sad, but about two or three weeks after that, we did a new set with Halloween nails. Let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, please subscribe because I noticed that 80% of my audience are watching my channel without subscription and it's so important to me. Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!